you know, a lot of people never see a product until it's on the store shelf. They don't know what goes behind in the research and the development that people like us do. And we enjoy it. We're both getting very close to the last right. of our years. I'm particularly interested in the third Same world where the younger people are dying and I feel that I'm capable of doing something about it and willing to spend money and we've come up with what we think is a, a marvelous device. We have a very, very small company. Here's an invention of mine I did years ago, self-teaching clock. Here's the electric fence charger that got us started back in 1963. I grew up in southern, southeastern Minnesota on a sm very small farm, and I've always been at and want to build things. One thing I did, I built a uh, alarm system for, from the barn to my bedroom. When my dad got down to milking cows, he'd bring, the, bring it up and get us up. And so we had to come down and help him milk the cows. Only when I left did he get a milking machine. I'm uh, a local St. Paul boy. One time uh, I found a book on mechanical engineering and, and I just thought, that's what I want to be. This um, mutual friend of us thought we were both so interested in inventions and doing things and making things that we should know each other. We're not trying to make a lot of money. We're just trying to do humanitarian work, mainly trying to pasteurize water for the third world. So that's what our efforts have been mostly for the last 10, 15 years. You aim this towards the sun. The sun heats water and the cold water comes in on the bottom and heats up here. When it gets hot enough, this thermostat opens the valve and lets the water go in the bucket and that's pasteurized. So what we've done is scale this up. We use a propane uh, water heater and so that we can do an enormous amount of drinking water. It's enough for a small town or a large village in Africa. In your wildest dreams, where do you see this water pasteurization device? All over the world, solving the drinking water problem. But people have to understand, it's the kids that get sick, not so much the adults. Those kids drink muddy water. They're drinking water from the, the streets. It's awful. It bothers me so much, that's why I'm, I'm involved in it. It's, it, it can be solved.